Hello beautiful people and welcome to the Imperial Balloons channel where we strive to make you feel like royalty during all your special occasions. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along on a booking that I had a couple of weeks ago. It was for a 35th birthday. This was a last minute booking as well. I believe I received the booking on a Thursday and the party was on Sunday. So because of the time crunch that I was in, I was having a little bit of trouble finding the colors that I needed. The client actually wanted a glossy chrome pink and then uh, a Bordeaux. And then she wanted a splash of gold in there as well. So for the pink in 12 inch and five inch, I ended up using Belle Belle glossy pink. And for the burgundy color in 12 inch, I used Sparkling Burgundy by Qualitex stuffed with Sempertex Burgundy. And the five inches were actually Crystal Burgundy by Belle Belle, but you cannot see the difference at all. I had pre-inflated a couple pieces of the garland and the little mini garland that I'm going to put on the left side as well. And I attached them to the backdrop by using a 260 that is tied together. Now, I think because Belle Belle is not really a stretchy brand of balloons and then I had the other color, the burgundy color was double stuffed. I had so much trouble tying neck to neck. Like you see here, I even had to take the garland or the mini garland back off of the backdrop to be able to tie it neck to neck. It was such a struggle. Even the night before, I was just taking so long to get these clusters together because I was just having to pull and pull and pull and I was just refusing to use 260s because I just, I'm not a fan of that method anymore. So whenever I can at least start structuring the garland, neck to neck and then maybe I'll add a couple pieces in with 260 I'd rather do that but yeah it was a struggle as you can see I'm still I'm, I just now got it together As you can see here, I'm taking the 260 and tying the two ends together so that I can loop it around the balloon. So I do that and then I twist it, loop it around the balloon again, and then I attach it to the hook on the back of the backdrop. I'm going to start blowing up some extra clusters to add to the garland. Looking back at it, I wish that I would have pulled the top right corner down a little bit and maybe changed where I added it to the to the backdrop because there's a little gap right there and I think that would have been fixed by just pushing it down a little bit. This is one of the points where I was really struggling with the neck to neck method and yeah it was getting frustrating. <laughs> I was telling my boyfriend like I don't want to use a 260 but I caved. I was like you know what I'll just use a 260. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Overall, the quality of the balloons was pretty good. I only had a couple of the sparkling burgundy pop, as you can see right here. And then you can see that that burgundy that was stuffed inside really looks like purple. I don't know why they sell that as burgundy at Simpertex, but it definitely looks more like purple than anything. 
so to fix that i just moved that one balloon to the back of the garland where pretty much nobody was gonna see it and then it was a good thing that it was double stuffed too because you know it didn't ruin the structure of the garland in any way shape or form Excuse my boyfriend slash cameraman being in the way. <laughs> Whenever he comes to me to a booking, he always like records me just during the process so I can have a little bit of behind the scenes footage for my TikTok mostly. So yeah, it's really nice of him to do that. just slowly adding some more width to the bottom of the garland and I'm starting to add some gold in there as well because that was requested also the reason why you see me walking back and forth the whole time is because I keep looking at the garland through my camera because it just picks up things that the eye doesn't see in real life so even now before I walk away from a setup I take a picture I look at it and if I see anything that needs to be changed I do it before I leave because if I get in the car or get home and I look at the picture and I'm like oh my god that doesn't look right I'm gonna want to go back to the venue to fix it so <laughs> if you've made it this far into the video thank you so much and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video share it with a friend or maybe leave a comment about what you think about the setup so far and you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac. So at this point I was really struggling to figure out how I was going to incorporate the gold in there. I felt like it should have been there in the 12 inches but looking back at it I either should have incorporated it into the base of the garland already or maybe just stick to using the 5 inches or maybe the mini garlands uh, to kind of add that splash of gold in there. I think that would have been better because I end up taking this cluster off as you can see right there and I'm going to make a smaller one to put there. But if I look at the final pictures, I just feel like it's just random. Or maybe I should have added a 5 inch cluster to that little piece of gold that I'm going to put there uh, in the end. Uh, but yeah, it was a struggle. But I know next time I'm just going to probably incorporate it or just do it through the 5 inches like you see me adding here. Or maybe do the mini garlands that will be cute as well. Installs like these are kind of challenging for me because I don't do the scattered look I do color block okay and I feel like a lot of balloon artists can relate like we're so obsessed with just color blocking and having having everything look organized and then when you have to do a scattered look because that's what the client wants you're like okay this is gonna be tough but we're gonna make it work I don't think it was bad this job but yeah I still have to definitely work on getting that scattered look together in a way that is cohesive and pretty. So yeah, practice makes perfect. We're just going to keep going and one day I'm going to be able to say I can do both excellently.
so my love for the mini garland is real you guys i even ended up taking out that whole gold cluster and said move make room for the mini garland they're so cute i just love the way they look i have been using them in pretty much every setup So I'm just finishing up the garland with some pompous leaves. Again, I have my handy dandy tall boyfriend helping me because I could not reach and I think I forgot my ladder. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any tips or questions, leave them below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and share the video with a friend. And again, you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac. Thank you guys so much and until next time.